Removing and Replacing Parts HP Pro X360 Fortis 11 G11 Notebook PC How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal Loosen the 7P1 Phillips head captive screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Using a flat bladed tool, carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Remove the base enclosure. Replacement Tow the tabs on the front edge of the base enclosure into the cutouts in the top cover and lower it into position. Apply pressure along the edges to reattach the base enclosure to the top cover. Tighten the 7P1 Phillips head captive screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning. To avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the 7P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift the battery up and off of its alignment posts on the top cover. Remove the battery. Replacement. Place the battery onto its alignment posts on the top cover. Replace the 7P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Reconnect the battery to its connector on the system board. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the transparent shielding that covers the wireless LAN antennas. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the system board. At an angle, gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully connect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Replace the transparent shielding that covers the wireless LAN antennas. How to replace the speaker assembly. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel away the two pieces of plastic tape that secure the speaker cable to the top cover. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the speaker cable from its routing channel on the top cover. Remove the speaker cable from its routing channel on the touchpad bracket. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Lift the speaker assembly off of the top cover and remove. 
Replacement. Place the speaker assembly into position on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Route the speaker cable through its routing channel on the touchpad bracket. Route the speaker cable through its routing channel on the top cover. Reconnect the speaker cable to its connector on the system board. Smooth over the two pieces of plastic tape that secure the speaker cable to the top cover. How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and speaker assembly. Removal. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad bracket to the top cover in numerical order. Remove the touchpad bracket from its alignment pins on the top cover. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the bottom of the touchpad to the top cover. Peel away the foam adhesive tape that covers the screws at the top of the touchpad. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top of the touchpad to the top cover. Lift the touchpad out of its cutout on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the touchpad into its cutout on the top cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the top of the touchpad to the top cover. Replace the foam adhesive tape that covers the screws at the top of the touchpad. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the bottom of the touchpad to the top cover. Place the touchpad bracket on its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad bracket to the top cover. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the touchpad and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Peel away the plastic tape that secures the RTC battery cable to the top cover. Disconnect the RTC battery cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the RTC battery cable from its routing channel on the top cover. Using a non-conductive flat bladed tool, Lift the RTC battery out of the clips on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the RTC battery into position in the clips on the top cover. Route the RTC battery cable through its routing channel on the top cover. Connect the RTC battery cable to its connector on the system board. Smooth over the plastic tape that secures the RTC battery cable to the top cover. How to replace the audio board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Lift up the locking bars and disconnect the following cables from their connectors on the system board. USB ribbon cable, audio ribbon cable. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the audio board bracket to the top cover. Remove the audio board bracket. Carefully lift the rear edge of the audio board and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the audio board.
Replacement. Carefully tow the external connectors on the audio board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower the system board into the top cover. Use the alignment pins to move the audio board bracket into position. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the audio board to the top cover. Reconnect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. USB ribbon cable. Audio ribbon cable. Press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. How to replace the pogo board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Lift the connector bar and disconnect the pogo ribbon cable from the pogo board. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the pogo board bracket to the pogo board. Remove the pogo board bracket that secures the pogo board to the top cover. Carefully lift the pogo board out of the top cover cutout and remove. Replacement. Place the pogo board into position on the top cover. Slide the pogo board bracket into position in the top cover cutout using the pogo board bracket alignment pin. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw to secure the pogo board bracket onto the top cover. Reconnect the pogo board ribbon cable to the connector on the pogo board. Press down on the connector bracket to secure the pogo board ribbon cable to the pogo board connector. How to replace the DC in connector. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Important. Take careful note of the routing of the DC in connector cable for later replacement. Disconnect the DC in connector cable from its connector on the system board and remove the cable from its routing channel on the bracket. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the DC in connector bracket to the top cover. Carefully remove the DC in connector and bracket from its cutout on the top cover. Remove the DC in connector from its bracket. Replacement. Place the DC in connector into its bracket. Place the DC in connector bracket into its cutout in the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the DC in connector bracket to the top cover. Route the DC in connector cable through its routing channel on the bracket and connect the cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. board bracket to the top cover. Remove the I.O. board bracket from the top cover. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the heatsink to the top cover. In the numerical order indicated, remove the four silver P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink to the system board. Lift the heatsink off of the system board and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heatsink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heatsink is removed. Use alcohol and a soft cloth 
or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease off of the heat sink and processor. Use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor. Align the heat sink over its screw wells on the system board and place the heat sink into position. In the numerical order indicated, replace the four silver P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. Replace the black P1 Phillips head screw that secures the heat sink to the top cover. Align the I.O. board bracket into its cutouts and place it into position on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. board bracket to the top cover. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless LAN module, DC in connector, and heatsink. Removal. Disconnect the following cables from their connectors on the system board. World facing webcam ribbon cable if installed. Touchpad ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Speaker cable. Audio board ribbon cable. USB ribbon cable. Front facing webcam cable. Pogo ribbon cable if installed. Display panel cable. Peel back the plastic adhesive securing the RTC battery cable to the top cover. Use a non-metallic flat bladed tool to remove the RTC battery from the clips on the top cover. Remove the RTC battery cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Note, the RTC battery should be removed with the system board. Remove the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the left edge of the system board and guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover. Remove the system board and RTC battery. Replacement. Carefully tow the external connectors on the system board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower the system board into position. Caution: Take care not to trap any of the cables between the system board and the top cover. Replace the six P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Route the RTC battery cable through its routing channel on the top cover and smooth over the plastic adhesive to secure the RTC cable to the top cover. Place the RTC battery into position in the clips on the top cover. Reconnect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. Touchpad ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Speaker cable. Audio board ribbon cable. USB ribbon cable. Front facing webcam cable. Pogo ribbon cable if installed. Display panel cable. Important, after a system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings. How to replace the display panel assembly top cover with keyboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure Disconnect the battery and remove the DC in connector. Removal. Important. 
Make careful note of the routing of the wireless LAN antenna cables, display panel cable, and front-facing webcam cable. Open the notebook at approximately 180 degrees, so that the notebook is lying flat on your work surface. Peel back the grounding tape that secures the display panel cable to the top cover. Remove the display panel ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the system board, and from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the transparent shield that covers the wireless LAN antenna connectors on the wireless LAN module. Remove the wireless LAN antenna cables from their connectors on the wireless LAN module and from the routing channel on the top cover. Peel back the grounding tape that secures the front-facing webcam cable to the back cover. Remove the front-facing webcam cable from its connector on the system board and from the routing channel on the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Peel back the grounding tape that covers the screw on the right display panel hinge. Remove the four P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Lift the left hinge off of its alignment pins on the top cover and carefully unclip it from the display panel assembly. Tilt the display panel assembly to the right, sliding the right hinge to the left and unclip the right hinge. Remove the display panel. Replacement. Note, before installing a new top cover, Remove all components from the old top cover and install them onto the new top cover. Tow the right display panel hinge into the cutout and onto its alignment pins on the top cover and click the hinge into position. Tow the left display panel hinge into the cutout and onto its alignment pins and click the hinge into position. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right display panel hinge to the top cover. Smooth over the grounding tape that covers the screw on the right display panel hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left display panel hinge to the top cover. Route the wireless antenna cable and display panel cable into the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the wireless LAN antenna cables to their connectors on the wireless LAN module. Replace the transparent shield that covers the wireless LAN antenna connectors on the wireless LAN module. Connect the display panel ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Smooth over the grounding tape that covers the cables on the left hinge. Connect the front-facing webcam cable to its connector on the system board. Grasp the top cover near the display panel hinges and fold the notebook closed. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.